hi earth sign welcome back to my channel hello to my new subscribers okay we're doing your june 14 2018 this is your daily reading you guys don't for, don't forget energy is fluid it changes if you don't like what the cards say change your energy you are the god gain your own definition okay i will be accepting paypal payments again for readings but i beg you please read the description box please make sure you're sending the reading to the right email if you don't i'm going to give you a refund period but period point blank okay let's see what's popping Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Hopefully, you guys set your new moon intentions. Okay, this is a super moon in Gemini. Hopefully, y'all did that shit. I know I did. Okay, let's see what's popping. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. this up okay earth sign you have the energy of the seven of cups all right of course confusion seven houses are house of relationships you could be dealing with a libra here but wishing hoping and praying thinking about the past okay feeling very overwhelmed here okay but i feel like you're thinking about somebody from your past a past lover okay you could also to be journaling about somebody, writing it down, all right? But this person is like on his knees praying, wishing, hoping, praying, please give me this, all right? So something you're, I feel like too, you have, you are over, you're confused here as well. But I, did, I feel like you're more so wishing and hoping and praying here for a past love, for more options, trying to get out of a situation here. You don't know what's right, what's wrong, Okay. I feel like somebody here, too, is do, doing a lot of writing, a lot of journaling here, spell work, okay? Because we have, if you look in the picture, we have the sword here on the book. Somebody's writing about you or you're writing about somebody doing some magic spell work, writing, maybe writing a song, writing poetry about this person. You're definitely thinking about somebody from your past, a love, okay? Feeling very emotional about this person as well. Let's see. Let's see what's up. All right, let's see. You have the energy of the Princess of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so you could be dealing with a younger earth sign like yourself, or you could be the younger earth sign, okay? But I feel like you're wishing and hoping and praying. Like, the, the Page of Pentacles is equivalent to the, uh, I'm sorry, the Princess of Pentacles is equivalent to the Page of Pentacles. So, with it, with it being in the reverse, is like you're not, something, like, something you have something that's blocking your money here, blocking your investment, something you're doing, working with your hands, all right, but something here is being blocked. I feel I feel like maybe you could even be wishing and praying for this younger earth sign. Okay, Capricorn energy here. Or this this person could be blocking your like let's let's see what let's keep going here. Energy of the Ten of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so I'm this is very emotional. I'm getting a lot of cups here. Let's see. Overall energy is the nine of pentacles. Okay, so I feel like earth sign, with this being your overall energy, I feel like somebody, you're very confident here, working for yourself, okay, very resourceful, you got some money in the bank, got a stash, got, you got a savings account, good savings account here. Somebody here is, whoever you're, wh whoever this is, earth sign, you are beautiful, you're like, you're like sexy, beautiful, thin, very high maintenance here, kind of bourgeois, okay, you like to wear dark lipstick or you have dark hair here, somebody of a lighter complexion. Somebody really enjoys wearing jewelry. Somebody has claws to like those long claw nails, like the long nails that are like claws, okay? Enjoying some wine here, enjoying some passion fruit, some grapes, all right? Enjoying your money and, and basking, basking in the ambiance here, okay? But I feel like you want somebody, you have nobody to share it with, okay? Also too, somebody here has a bird or somebody's bird is a, somebody has a spirit animal as a bird here, okay? But I feel like, you have all the success, but nobody to share it with, okay? I feel like you, you're you very emotional here. You're pouring your heart out to somebody or to something, and it's like, okay, I'm doing all this work. I have all the success. I'm doing good for myself, but I have nobody to share it with. I have nobody to share my success with, okay? And I feel like you're wishing and hoping and praying for this. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm doing really well, but it's like, what does it matter? I have nobody to share. I got, I got nobody to take out. I have nobody to spend my money on. I have nobody to spoil. I have, I have, I have no one here to share my, share my glory, all right? Well, the Ten of Cups in the reverse is like, you have the money, you have the resources, you have, like, even the, you might even have fame. Whoever this is, very well off here. 
very, very well off, very beautiful as well, beautiful, but you're not emotionally fulfilled at the same time. It's like money can't buy you love, right? Money is not everything. It's like, yeah, you're successful, you're an entrepreneur, you're doing very well, you're very good at what you do as well, but it's like, at the same time, where's the, where's the love at? Where's the emotional fulfillment? You're not feeling it. Like, you want somebody to share this with, and there's nobody there, all right? I feel like somebody here is crying as well, all right? Because you're single, it's like, hmm. You just feel like you're in it all by yourself, okay? You have it all, but what's it all worth, right? At what cost? Okay. Let's see. Why is the Seven of Cups here? So we have the Seven of Cups to the Ten of Cups. So that's three cups difference. Okay. So you could be dealing with a third party situation here. Okay. Like you want to celebrate, you want to reconcile with somebody here. The Three of Cups is reconciliation, partying, having drinks. You could be drinking very heavily here as well. We have we have wine in this photo, cups and cups. Somebody is drinking very heavily, trying to drown up, trying to drown their sorrow. Okay. I've been down, I've been out to the bottom of every bottle. That's that's what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. But you have you have success. You are successful. You're all right. But it's like you're drowning, you're drowning out your problems, drowning out your sorrow here, because you want to reconcile with somebody, you want to celebrate with somebody, but nobody, there's nobody there. You're the only one in the room, right? Let's see. Why is the seven of cups here? Heavy energy today. Could be dealing with a water sign. I'm getting heavy, heavy water. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have water in your chart as well. Okay. Yeah, we have the seven of wands. You're fighting for something here. I feel like you. I feel like. I feel like you want to reconcile here. You're, you want to fight for a connection. You're wishing and praying and hoping this person comes back to you. They reconcile with you. Okay. You want to. You like. You, you want to fight for something here. You're standing your ground. Standing up. Standing up for yourself. I feel like a lot of people too, like there's a lot of naysayers in your midst. Family people giving your opinion where their opinion is not warranted. You know what I'm saying? Offering their two cents. Take, save your two cents. Save your two cents unless it's going towards the rent, right? But you're standing up for something here. You're fighting for something. Like you're wishing and hoping and praying. You're fighting for this. Like you're not letting go. Like I'm in, you are in the fight, period, dot. I'm not giving up on this, Okay. I feel like this is about this younger uh, earth sign here, or this water sign, okay? I'm not getting, I'm, you, it could be a fire sign as well, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm not saying any air yet, so you're not dealing with an air sign, I don't feel like, all right? But I feel like you're fighting for a connection here, you're fighting for something that you want, all right? You could be feeling very disillusioned here, not very confused about something, but you're still fighting for it, all right? Let's see, why is the Princess of Pentacles in the reverse? Are you fighting for this princess? She being stubborn, okay, being a spoiled brat. You're fighting for her. Are you fighting for a child here as well? You could be fighting trying to get your child back, your princess back. All right. I feel like this is more so like a, you know, a blockage here on your money. You want to start something new, but something is blocking you. You have the full card in the reverse. Yeah. You want a new beginning, but it's just not happening. It's not there. Somebody is afraid of the unknown. You could be. It could be this princess. This princess of Pentacles. She's afraid of the unknown. She doesn't want to take a risk. She's not willing to. She's scared. She doesn't know what's going to happen. This could be male or female, but this is the princess. Of, this is the princess of Pentacles energy. I don't like how they did th did that. But anyways, yeah, you're afraid to take a risk here. You're fighting for it, but somebody somebody is somebody is afraid to take a risk. I feel like it's, it's the other person you're dealing with here. Like you want to share your life with them, okay? This, this, whoever this person is, they're way younger. This person is way younger than you. You're, you're well off. You want to share your wealth, share your life. You want to spoil this person, but this person's afraid. This person's afraid to love you. They're afraid to take a risk. They don't know what's gonna happen. They're afraid of the unknown. All right. For lack of a better word, they have no balls. All right. Period. That. Okay. So with the ten of cups, we have the moon card in the reverse and the world card in the reverse. Okay. Hmm. Deep. So I feel like here. You're pouring your heart out, pouring. I feel like somebody here is crying very heavily, drinking as well. But with the moon card and the world card in the reverse, there's a secret that's going to come out. Something is coming to a close or somebody wants closure in a situation here. Let me get one more card. Dealing with a Cancerian or a fixed sign. All right. So I feel like uh, Taurus, uh, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius or, um, oh my God. 
Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo. Okay, could be dealing with one of those signs. Or you are very fixed. You're trying to. You want closure. That's you're, you want closure in a situation that's fixed. Okay, you've been in a situation. You've been in a cycle for a long time, and it's like it's like over and over and over again a fucking hamster wheel. The situation, like you're stuck in it. It's a fixed situation. You could be on a fixed income as well, but you want closure. You want the cycle to come to an end. You want to share your wealth. You want to share your success with somebody. You want. You're tired of being single here. Okay, you want to be happy with somebody. You want somebody to take a risk on you. You're fighting for somebody. You're fighting for this. Okay? It's like you don't know what's going to happen, but you don't care. All right, it's not see courage is not about it's not about not having fear, okay? It's not a, courage is not the absence of fear, okay? It's okay to be you can be afraid all you want to. Courage is being afraid and still fucking doing it. All right? And I feel like too here earth sign it's like you're fighting for something, but you don't want to take a risk. It's like you're fighting for, but what are you fighting for? If you're not going to take a risk, what are you, why are you fighting? Why are you, why are you defending yourself here? Okay, if you're not going to take a risk with somebody, what are you fighting for? Or maybe you're just defending yourself against this person because you don't want to take a risk with them. You don't want a new beginning with them. You want to be independent. You want to be single. You want to do your own thing. You're one too, all right? March to the beat of your own drum. It's like, I feel like you could be fighting not to take a risk. Like, no, I don't want to. I don't want a new beginning with you. No second chances. No, I don't want this. I don't want to take a risk. And like you're fighting this person. No, that could be it as well. Maybe you have many options here. Okay. But with the with the tenant, let's see what the hidden influences are. The hidden influences. Are, wow. The King of Swords in the reverse could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarian. So the hidden influences are somebody is scorned. Somebody is bitter. Okay. Somebody is cold as fuck too. Somebody, you could, this person here, you cannot reason with them. Very argumentative, very cold, very detached, very unemotional, no, no fucks given. Okay, somebody here is just detached and cold as a motherfucker. No common sense. You cannot, no reasoning, no logic, no reason at all. Arguments. Somebody who, you can't get a word in edgewise. That's the hidden, that's the hidden influence. Okay, so I feel like this, this I feel like this younger uh, earth sign here, you're like, no, you know what? you're you're a bitch you're a bastard i don't want to do nothing else with you i'm so done with this shit like you're standing up for yourself you want to you want you are looking for more options here okay like you're not giving in because this, this person is argumentative always cussing you out you can't reason with them you can't get a word in edgewise okay very bitchy person very bitter individual here okay i feel like a secret came out too Somebody here is, I feel like somebody here is drinking very heavily or crying about a secret that came out. Somebody here is wanting closure, but somebody's not getting it. I feel like too with this full moon energy, like after the full moon, I think the full moon, the next full moon is in Aquarius. I think it's on the 27th or 29th of this month, okay? It's going to be closure after that because we have a super, we had a super moon, we have a super moon yesterday in Gemini, but I feel like the situation is fixed. And if you look at, if you look at the uh, moon card here, you have a wolf and you have a dog. Okay. So I feel like somebody is, somebody came off as a wolf, but they're really a fucking dog. All right. They're not a fucking wolf. All right. They're a bitch period. All right. And I feel like you might've found this out recently. Okay, you want closure, like some, you want this, like you've been in a situation with this person for quite some time and they're very stubborn, they're very fixed in their ways, they're, they're very bitchy, a bitch, all right, a bastard, okay? Somebody that you didn't, some, you, you, weren't, you weren't expecting this though, all right? Like I feel like something came out recently, like something was revealed to you, all right? But somebody doesn't want to give somebody closure here. Somebody is being very stubborn about giving somebody closure, uh, bringing a cycle to an end here. I feel like somebody likes the fucking drama too. Somebody here is a liar, bitch, very bitchy energy here, okay? I feel like Earth sign too, somebody is stealing from you, real shit. Someone is stealing your money behind your back. Some, this, whoever this person is, they're very seducive, Okay? very beautiful it could be male or female males can be beautiful too but some i feel like somebody is stealing from you like literally stealing your cash all right like check your bank accounts all right some some shit like some somebody here is very bitter very scorned very bitchy person here very detached somebody is not attached to you emotionally somebody is very cold towards you okay so easy to cut you out all right keep an eye on your money too Somebody's after your money. Damn, 
Autos card. Okay, so we have two cards for you, uh, Herb Sign. We have peace. There is no need to worry so as everything is working out beautifully, all right? All right, and we have another card. We have we have fairness. Maya, the situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. It doesn't matter what's going on, what's happening. Your guides are saying it's going to be handled. And you are going to get justice for whatever, whatever somebody's doing to you or whatever you're doing to someone is going to be handled very justly in a fair and just manner. So just be at peace. Be easy. Be easy, all right? Because everything is working out beautifully, okay? Whatever this person is doing to you or not doing is going to be handled in a fair and just manner. Don't even worry about it. Be easy, all right? Hmm. I hope this helped you, Ursine. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Thank you so much. Bye.